A full century of history here in Marysville is about to come crashing down is Hotel Marysville, according to the city, which held a press conference here on Friday, saying that the building is on the brink of collapse nearly a week after it caught on fire. And now city leaders are rushing to try to find a way to demolish it as safely as possible. We, City Council of City of Marysville, have formally declared an emergency. Marysville Mayor Chris Branscombe calling out to California Governor Gavin Newsom for help after a torturous week for his staff and responding agencies across Yuba County and across the state. We have people that are, are just physically exhausted from the amount of time spent here and, and so it's a matter of we just can't sustain this forever. Feels like forever. The historic hotel Marysville has stood on Ian Fifth Street in downtown Marysville. On Saturday night, the local landmark nearly burned to the ground. I mean, approximately two hours into the firefight, we did uh, realize we had fire throughout the majority of the building and in the roof structure. Fire Chief Kyle Hegstrom and his firefighters contained the flames and monitor hotspots a week later. But a structural integrity report published Thursday shows the vacant hotel is turning to rubble. The Hotel Marysville structure is at risk of collapse. Demolition is clearly indicated. A 105 foot perimeter blocking traffic on Highway 70 through Marysville, forcing some nearby businesses to evacuate. Basically, anything directly adjacent and across the street uh, is in jeopardy. But a timeline to bring the building down safely is scrambled. And frankly, they have not been uh, uh, indicating that they're going to step up to the plate and uh, remediate the situation. City manager Jim Shad shelling out shots at Urban Smart Growth, a New York-based real estate developer that owns the hotel. He says the owner has minimal insurance coverage and refuses to accept responsibility for demolition and other damage costs. Urban Smart Growth has more than adequate resources to do the right thing and make the building safe so that we can restore traffic and restore business to our community. I am not confident that at this point they will. In a statement to Fox 40, legal counsel for Urban Smart Growth says in a response, quote, we were devastated to hear about the fire loss and happy to find out no one was injured. We have laid out a path forward with the city that we think will be the quickest and most efficient way to get the highway open, protect neighboring properties and move to the next phase of developing the historic corner of Marysville. We believe the city of Marysville is in the best position to take over the property and get the highway and neighboring businesses back open. And furthermore, to go along with what the spokesperson for the property owner was saying in that statement, I just got off the phone with them and they tell me these claims the city is making that Urban Smart Growth is just unwilling to pay any of the costs that are associated with demolition of the damages here are, quote, unequivocally untrue. They say the city wants them to come in and demolish this building tomorrow, and they say that's something that logistically they are not capable of doing. Reporting in Marysville, covering local news that matters, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.